Hey, orange one here. So we are going to be playing as Chip Chop with uh, the beta branch of the game. I just wanted to update the game, and I f figured it's been so long since I played the other character, I might as well just restart them, right? So we're going to be doing... Bah, 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 bah. What would be good for us? I mean, Chip Chop... It'd be really nice if we had stuff that would be good for our chipping and chopping. I don't know, butchering? I mean, we're gonna be... That's gonna be probably something that's pretty good. Uh, sure. In the hills. Chip, chop. We're gonna be playing as this, like... Kind of like... I don't know. English style. Like... I don't know, axe-wielding maniac, essentially. <laughs> he's gotta be a very proper gentleman. Don't you worry. He's he's gotta be quite quite the the sir. Now it's been a while since I've played the game, if I'm completely honest, so give me a little bit of time. So I can talk to you about with C. Okay. Um <laughs> yeah, let's let's go with that. Yeah, I remember that dude. That's a good quest line. If you haven't played this game, that's that's definitely a good thing for us to try and do. So yeah, welcome to Caves of Cud. This is essentially a roguelike, um, like survival, post-apocalyptic, insane game. Like we've got cybernetics, and we're like a human. There's all these people who are like not really humans. They're like beast humans i don't know they're pretty weird but these dudes right here um they were gonna make them friends with us uh sure let's learn butchery that's like an easy way to get some some skills is sharing some water with these people now water is basically your money though so i gotta be careful about spending too much of it on these these guys i also have a chair look at that isn't that nice um it has no effects it's just a chair. <laughs> uh, I also have, ooh, showing your page of the Annals of Cud. So this is like a little book. Uh, okay. Interesting. Entangle text. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay, that was weird. Okay, there, here's a book. So let's look at that. Just, yeah. No effects. Could I add notes? No, I don't add any notes to it. It's just like a book. I could sell that. I have some chem cells. Okay, that's good. What else do I have? If I look at my uh, equipment here, I've got a shirt. I've got my bloodstained neck ring. Got my hand axe. That's good. A little knife. That's okay. We don't really have too much else, though. We're kind of not armored. It'd be good if we could maybe uh, find a merchant. Are you a merchant? You look like a dromad, maybe. Yes, you're a dromad. Um, yeah, okay. Can I just talk to you? Got some weird artifacts. I can't really afford that. I mean, the leather armor is somewhat tempting, because, I mean, it's way better than just, like, the shirt that we're wearing, essentially. That's what I'm worried about. If I'm completely honest, it's just kind of rolling out without any armor at all. And this is so cheap, like, why would we not do it, essentially? Um... Oh, hold on. Let's just do that. Yeah, the controls are kind of weird for this game. It's, uh... Sure, yes. We, we have 90-something things of water. It's not that much. Fine. Okay. So, let's, let's uh, equip that armor that we just bought. That goes to my body. And this actually is not half bad. Can I get that leather armor? I would rather have armor than dodge, especially seeing how we're going to be getting into combat and we're not going to be able to dodge very well. Oh, you can trade with this dude? 
Okay. Do I take some bandages? Can I... I just want, uh, like... No, not one. Uh, add or remove. Yeah, let's go with, like, three bandages. Can I... Yeah, okay. Three bandages. I give you... I could give you... Nah, that's, like, a worthless shirt. Nah. We're just gonna... We're just gonna take that. Yep. Sounds good to me. Thanks. Don't want to cause too much trouble this early on, right? Okay. I should probably see... Where was the... The leader? The village is... Is it... You? Are you the leader? What are you? Find Elder Krishnam. Okay. I need to find some Elder. And it's not the, the Dromad, so it's probably uh, Banana Rancher is not him. Yeah, this is the Apothecary. Okay. Who are you? Okay, Village Tinkerer. This is this guy is who we want to talk to. Okay. Um. Sure. That sounds like not that difficult of a thing to do. You think? I have not sat on the cushion yet. Okay, you got some good stuff in here, man. I'm kind of interested to see what that stuff is, but I'm I'm kind of dumb as of right now. So let me go chop up some things. Okay, yeah. So we could go out this way, and then if I look, I can kind of look around me. Is this the quest location? Yes, that's where I want to go to. Okay, I'm really kind of in a, kind of a dangerous place. I probably want to um, be careful about being around here. What's my current location? I need to just... Well, we're going to fall in love with Apple Farmer's daughter if we're not careful. It's dangerous stuff, man. Don't, not even once. You don't want to mess with that. Okay, we could really get just, like, straight up killed right now. Where we are at. Like, not even, not even being dramatic. I swear. Um, like, the things in these hills could be, like, a much higher level than, than me. There's also just some treasure chests right there. So let's go over here and open that. Uh, yes, I want to open it. Ah, worthless. Is this still like... Oh look, hello. Are they coming over here now? Or kind of, maybe. There's a big old group of them. See, that's like what we don't want to do. Is try and fight that group, because that... A lot of snap jaws, man. Like seriously, they'll just like demolish us. Okay, well we can't go that way. Big old group of snap jaws right there. Um, let's see if we can find a way through here. Oh, it's ac actually kind of. Uh oh. Oh god, that thing's kind of like snap my mind. Just wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, can I... Uh-oh. Okay, I got him. I got him. He almost got me. Okay, can I... Get that sword. And I kind of want that here, maybe? I don't know. Let me just get it. Let me have a look at it and compare it to my other things. So I've got 6, 6, 1d3, and 1d4. What did we just get here? It wasn't these. Yeah, we can minimize these, by the way. 6, 1d4. Okay. So if I go here, 
Actually, right now, although we are named Chip Chop, it would actually probably behoove us to go with a blade. But we have axe skill, which is, I don't know, I feel like, it, although it may behoove us, I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, more snap draws. Okay. Oh. Okay, we killed one. Congratulations. Did I just gain two levels at once? I think I did. I'm pretty sure that was two levels at once there. Um, hooray for me. <laughs> Sorry about that loud noise. We got 100 skill points. Okay. <clears throat> Not enough. Dang it. I don't care about cooking right now. Um, no. I don't know. What should we do? What was it that I did last time? I think it was like tactics, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was... Uh, go get Hurdle. Yes, I'm going to do it. Yep. <clears throat> that should leave us with enough for the next level. Okay, I'm going to pick up a few things because we can sell them. That's a pretty terrible weapon, but... Like I said, I can sell it. And that, I think I can actually equip. And so now I got a little bow if I if I want to use it. I'm not going to be any good with it, but... <clears throat> oh, well, it'll help us in some situations, Brian. Uh, those baboons, there's a lot of them. Are we cool with them? Are they cool with me? Yeah. It seems that the baboons and I are kind of cool with each other. All right, I'm down. Don't have some baboon friends. Come on, snap jaws. Let's do it. Uh oh, there's the dude that's gonna sunder my mind. Oh god, that I am a little bit worried about. Not the snap jaws. The snap jaws will go down. Oh, pretty easy. This guy. Uh, do I have? I do have flurry. I can. Blurry this dude. Yep. There he goes. Should I stay or should I go? Um, okay, it's it's night, I think, right now, so I think I need a torch. Uh okay, so we're gonna need to switch out our knife, I think, for a torch. Uh yeah, here we go. Let's just wait there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Can I... Equip that? Yep. Uh, Steel Balax. I think that that we should be good with uh, in a little bit. I'm just going to pick it up for now. Because I think... Um, I haven't leveled up again, have I? I want to make sure. No, okay. Where the snap jaws at? There you are. Hello, friend. Oh man. <laughs> They're not too bad, actually. I thought these guys were stronger than that. Um, how much experience do I need? I need a hundred more. Well, even killing those snap jaws. Oh, hello. Can I get another flurry going? Oh, that, that dude right there is plenty of experience. Okay, so let's see. We got another level up. Okay, we are leveling up so fast. I, I guess starting in this dangerous place is okay for us. Let's get Dismember. Oh, yeah. In the first episode, we got Dismember. I need to not get overconfident. Um, I'm going to pick that up. I don't know about that Warhammer. That's going to be heavy. Uh, okay, I think I'm feeling pretty good against Snapjaws. Taking their shoes. Uh, what do I have on my feet? Just le leather moccasins. I think these have like a special effect on them, don't they? No. 
I, pr I thought that they gave you a special effect. Okay, I'm just gonna wear sandals. Oh, jeez. He, like, flurried me there or something. Oh, there's another one here. That's what happened. Ah. Um, dismember. Oh, yeah, he's been dismembered. Let's have a look. What did we do? He's missing his feet. Okay. He looks ready to drop on all fours. <laughs> um... I'm just gonna take a little walk over here, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, did that was that hard? That was that was pretty crazy, man. Kinda feel like a little bit of a monster. Yep, there's his feet. Uh a lacquered iron mace might be worth picking up. Because it's got the lacquered effect, it might be worth more. I like how these baboons just are like totally cool with me. I like that a lot. Yeah, I don't think I'm quite comfortable charging the Snapjaw horde. Okay, what's this thing? Cleaved. Whatever it is, it's dead. No. Um, that gave quite a bit of experience. It's average. Um, can I? I can sprint. Where's my uh? Buh, 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 buh. Is sprint the thing that I enabled? What's the skill that I got when I did the that skill? I don't care about that. What was it that I did? It was tactics, right? Hurdle. Okay. Dodge value. Eh. I sprint. So, I mean, if I need to sprint, which I will be sprinting as an axe wielding Brit, proper gentleman, a quilted shawl. <laughs> oh man, this game. I love the, the text effects, you know, on the items. It's just like a really cool looking game. I know that some people find the stuff to not look the best, but nah. Nah, man. This is the bomb. Uh, what are you? Easy and tough, but you're neutral. I mean... I don't need his spiked gauntlets. Or his painted furs. But if I can run a group of enemies into him... Sure, why not? Right? Nah, I killed everything around here. I mean, he's gonna be tough, so I don't know if I really should try and kill him. Uh, hello. Are they attacking that poor hermit? I think they're just, like, going to town on that poor hermit. Um, I've still got my hand axe. Is my other thing better? A steel battle axe. I feel like it should be better, but it's not. We'll keep them both for now. We're gonna get something better soon, I bet. Oh, hello. They cleaved through my armor. That does that yeah, it's cracked. You I'm gonna need some new armor. Or I need to repair this, but I don't think we're smart enough to repair. Take that, you snap jaws. Uh, actually, you know what? I uh, I need to uh, first of all, I need to get some more um, stuff. I need charge because I want to get the other thing soon. Oh no! I need to save up at uh, fifty-ish. I need to get death throwing. I need to save up 50 so I can only spend about 50. I mean, I could skip it for now, to be honest. We're leveling up so fast. Attribute points. What do I want another attribute point in? Strength, probably. Right? Yep. We're going to be a big, strong boy over here. Hello. 
<laughs> okay, he's got an engraved wooden buckler. Can I look at that? What's engraved about? Hey, we got some history. I think I'm gonna take these things as well. Good trading items. Um, I think. Do I not have anything out of my hands? I'm not sure if I do. I don't have anything on my face. Um. Hold on, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What does this do? Cold resistance? Nah, let's take that off. <laughs> we don't we don't need that on. What does this do again? It's blood stained. I could clean the blood off of it. Oh, I just got some history by looking at this thing. I could clean it as well. Nah, we're not cleaning nothing. Okay, uh, this dude wants a piece. Let's, uh, let's go with... First of all... Wait, hold on, what? I... I... Okay, there we go. Um, was I trying to dismember with my face? Uh, that's... I, I can't... I don't know. Can I see the text? I'm not sure if there... I think there's a way for me to look at the text. But I'm not exactly sure what button it is, to be honest. Is it... I think it's this, or star, is that... No. I don't see it. Okay, whatever. Well, that guy's dead. What part did we, uh, did we take off there? How are you doing there, buddy? Doing okay? His left hand. Nah. Probably made him a little bit worse at wielding a two-handed weapon. <laughs> See, like, when you dismember, it really does help a lot. I think there is a way to repair the armor. I just don't think that we can do it. Cracked is one minus one armor value. Yeah. We just don't have the way, way to repair it. Okay, uh I'll take the daggers as you as you know. I'll take that. How does that compare to my current oh what? What just uh happened there? Oop. Oh, there's like an archer or something around here. Hello. Yeah, I uh if I can <laughs> because this is left arm. Okay. Uh, I do really think that is a awesome attack for us. I don't know. Are the black ropes worth, like, anything? I feel like they're not. Uh, there's a water skin there. There's some furs. I think furs are... Well, I think this is actually better armor than what we have right now because it's got less uh, of a dodge penalty but the same armor because our armor is cracked so until we can repair that this is actually our best setup uh is that tortoise he is he's very irritable all right i will see what i can do against you the tortoise Are you also hostile? No, you're not hostile. Excuse me. I'm just gonna fall back a little bit. Oh, there's a beaded bracelet. This is actually, that's like one of the best trading items out there. Uh, I do have dismember on. Let's see if I can dismember this tortoise. Okay, cleaved. I don't think we dismembered anything. No, but we did cleave at least, so that should help at least with this flurry. Oh, he's got even more cleaved. Okay, but he's he's not that hurt, is the thing. Alright, uh, I think it's time we try out the cybernetic inflate axons. 
Okay. Oh, we, uh, we cleaved again. Dude, this guy is messed up. I don't have dismember. We're just, like, covered in blood. God. Okay. Badly wounded. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> it's just all this blood here. Am I just, like, covered in it? Yeah, it looks like walking through it covers you in it. That's kind of gnarly. Okay. I think my inflated axons are... Like, they have, like, a little cooldown or something. Yeah, I think we're, we're good now. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we need to be careful. We could just, like, seriously get, like, one shot in one of these turns somewhere. Have I gotten any closer? Not really. I need to go, like, on the overmap. We're going overmap, guys. We're doing it. We're going... Okay, we're lost. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, hey, we got some baboon friends. We're cool. We're fine. All right. I regained my bearings. I think I need to kill these things, though. I think it's day, so let's actually get that torch away. And let's get... Valax, maybe? Hold up. Yeah, that's actually... That's a pretty good combo. We got two axes here. Come here. <laughs> I think we can just, like, one-shot those dudes so easy now. Yeah. And you, dismember. <laughs> oh, man. So good. And why don't we flurry you as well? And he's down. Left hand again. Leather apron? Uh, it's not a good item, is it? No, it's not really worth anything. Yeah, Trukins, man. Easy mode. This is how you... you uh, you're new to the game, how you want to play. Am I... I'm not bleeding. No, okay. Can I... Cook something here. Yeah, let's just whip up a little meal. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, we got a big old nasty looking group of these guys. How are we going to funnel them? Let's kind of get behind this tree a little bit. How, how are you hurt? Mobility is impaired. I'm just gonna back up then, because your boss man is bleeding out over there. And I can just like... Okay, yeah, we can we can take on groups of Snapjaws now. We are <laughs> well, well beyond that point. Should I grab the Iron Sword? Nah, I don't know. It's like one of those items that's kind of bigger, but it's still an iron item. He's got salty feet. I would be a little salty too after that, to be honest. This dude just rolls up. He's human. His little coyote people just get, like, stomped. Oh, hello. There's even more. I'm just kind of enjoying the combat a little bit right now. <laughs> okay, another level. Good. We needed to get another level before the episode was over, I guess. So that we could get charge, right? And then charging strike is gonna be super, super close to us. Uh, yep, yeah, that's gonna be. Oh man, honestly, this is like such a good skill when you get it. I can do like F charge uh, if he gets closer. Check this out. Oh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> oh man, it's so good. Can I feel like that might be the same thing that we've got? If, what does this do again? 
No, it's got something. Apparently, it protects against noxious gas and vapor. I don't know if that's true. Okay, we got a special dude here. We'll just kill the leech, like, super easy. Oh yeah, I can't charge, he's too close. And he's he's pretty fast too. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead, dismember. He's a warlord. Okay. Right arm. Oh okay. See that's that's a that's a pretty tough one to come back from there. I think I'm just gonna just go regular. Yeah, they actually they did okay, considering that they lost their right arm. <laughs> I thought that they were going to go down pretty quick. Uh, leather armor? Sure. It's a little dirty. I'm not going to clean it, though. Are you kidding me? What do I look like? Rinse? Okay, I think that this is a, it's a bit about a half an hour. I think that we're going to end here. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Let me know if you want to see more of this.